Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MEDC, and as I promised a while back, I would come back to the Harbor Freight EDC. So this is the stuff that I purchased from Harbor Freight as my complete EDC, minus a wallet, a watch, and the key clip, because it was just a little cheap carabiner. So I talked about this stuff on camera already, so we're not gonna talk about this stuff today. We're gonna talk about all the other stuff that you can get for EDC at Harbor Freight for a pretty good price. So with that said, Let's do the damn thing. All right, like I said, uh, all of this stuff I've already talked about, so I'm not gonna waste your time talking about this stuff again. If you wanna see this stuff again, just rewatch the old video. So, uh, I've not opened any of this stuff. It's all literally just been sitting on a table in the other office for a month. Oh, there's more. There's more. Oh. Okay. I think that's it. I think, I think that's all. You know what? Let's start with what I think is going to be the absolute worst thing out of all of this. The, uh, the key-shaped stainless steel folding knife, which technically is a knockoff of the SOG version of the exact same thing. This says lock back blade, locking mechanism, stainless steel handle and blade construction attaches to any keychain, any keychain, two and a half inch serrated blade. Sweet, who doesn't love serrations on a tiny, tiny knife? Uh, back says all the exact same stuff. Of course, it doesn't tell you what blade still it has. And it says to prevent serious injury, close the knife when you're done using it. Okay, wow, that's... I think the paper's probably stronger than the knife. Holy shit. This knife is extremely sharp too, so that's some thick ass paper. Ugh. Yeah. This paper is definitely stronger than the knife that it's holding, 100%. I know you guys are gonna ask, this is the uh, Brian Efros uh, Alliance Designs Ice Light and Titanium from Urban EDC Supply. I know you guys are gonna ask, so there you go. So here you go, a little lock back, your lock right here in the side of the key. It is very much key shaped. Yeah, you have to push on that pretty hard. I wonder if this thing's any sharp. Uh, no. So here is the Harbor Freight receipt. Are you as impressed as I am? Cool. I think this thing was two, three dollars. Uh, it'll cut a box open, I guess. It'll open your Amazon packages, but this is not something that I would rely on or have in my carry, but um, some people seem to like them. I'm sure I would probably just splurge for the SOG one if I wanted something like this, but they do have this. And there is actually another version that is some other brand at Harbor Freight for like a dollar or two. So uh, very cheap, not something I would gift anybody. It's not something I would have, but uh, there you go. Key knife. It sucks. Next, let's go with something I think is actually decent. Uh, I don't think I have to cut this one out. So this is the other pocket knife I talked about in the first video and I chose the other one over this one. Um, they're all from Gordon, which is I guess Harbor Freight's in-house knife brand. The really cheap Gordon knife from the last video was actually surprisingly good. How the hell are you supposed to get this thing out of here? Just like that, huh? This knife has all the makings of things that I hate in a knife, which is tanto and serrations. It does not have great action. I think already I can tell you that the cheaper knife is better. Can't even flick this thing open if I wanted to. Yeah, that's not, the flipper tab's useless. Completely useless. This, this is something you're gonna have to use a little wrist action with, which I never recommend. You can't spidey flick it. Let's try really hard. No, <laughs> you think I want to cut myself? <laughs> I'm very well could. Uh, yeah, this is not going to be. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe if I loosen the pivot and give it some, some lube. It's got really light to tint. There we go. It just needs a little TLC. A little TLC. Yeah, no, nah, not going to bother. Um, so this looks like it has a four way pocket clip. Actually, it does not have a four-way pocket clip. It has a two-way pocket clip, which is tip down only. Tip down is a no-go for me. 
Um, it does have this little seat belt cutter here in the back of the, the handle and a uh, window breaker. It's an all right knife. This was, I think, like $15. This was from the second trip. Universal folding pocket knife, $14.99 for this. Uh, I don't know what blade steel it was. I think it was like some 8CR. It says right here, 8CR 13 MOV. Uh, I think for $15, this thing is fine, but this knife, which was like seven bucks, is a better buy. It's got really good action. It's got a four-way pocket clip. The flipper tab actually works. And uh, I think it's got roughly the same blade steel. I would buy this over this every day of the week. And since we got that one out of the way, might as well get the other knife out of the way, which is the uh, Gerber Pair Frame Knockoff is what I'm gonna call this, because that's really what it is. I think they even use pair of frame on the, I don't know, they call it skeleton frame design. Who designed this packaging? This is the worst. You like have a pocket clip holding it in the packaging and this all the way around it. So this, I think, was the cheapest knife of them all. Let's see. This one is Skeleton Frame, $6.99. Just for the record, let's see what this knife cost. Tactical Knife, $8.97. So a $9 knife, $7 knife, and a $15 knife. And so far, I definitely think the $9 knife is the best purchase. This, wow, that is a serious lock. Uh, I could see that flipper tab maybe working with a little finesse, maybe. It's definitely gonna flick like open. Woo, okay. Uh, I will say what I like about this knife is that there's no serration. Uh, I will say right off the bat, one thing I don't like about this knife is that it is a fixed position pocket clip. So this one has four way. So you can do left or right hand tip up or tip down. I have it in the tip down position, which I do not typically carry. All of my knives are uh, right hand tip up, but this one is fixed in right hand tip down. But again, it's a $7 knife. It's got a really strong detent and that's because it's got massive lockup. So it's running on phosphor bronze washers. But that, that lock bar is really tight, like extremely tight. I would probably try to take this thing apart and flex that bar out just to like loosen that tension a little bit. That is one of the tightest lockups I've ever felt. And because of that, I think that may be why it's not flipping all the way open. This one I think has the worst blade steel, 3CR13 MOV. So for $2 more, you're getting an 8CR13 MOV steel knife, which is gonna be better than the 3CR. Uh, I think this is just a better knife all around. And for $2 more, I would splurge for this one. Again, I went with this one for a reason and it's because it's the best one that they sell at Harbor Freight. No question about it. This is, this is fine, but for almost the price of a Gerber Paraframe, um, at this point, just splurge, you know, a few more dollars and get an actual Gerber pair frame or spend two more and get this, which is going to be just as good, if not better than a pair frame. Uh, might as well talk about the utility knives since I've already talked about knives. Uh, and if you recall the last video I had this little guy, which is a mini little keychain utility knife. I think this thing is great. For the price, this thing is really, really great. I think it was five bucks. Will not argue with that any day of the week. I have a couple of them around the office now. And since I have it, I might as well use it to open these. Uh, I think the Doyle is gonna be the better of the utility knives. Uh, Harbor Freight has quite a few utility knives. These are not the only ones. Uh, these seem to be the best-ish. There were different features in them, but I went with these two. They, they appealed to me the most. So the Doyle is, I think, the most expensive and it's gonna be the most like the uh, Milwaukee utility knives that everybody raves about. So this, we'll talk about the Gordon utility knife first. First, it's heavy. It has a fixed position pocket clip, which it's a utility knife, whatever. Uh, what is cool about this one for $4.99 is you have actually two locking positions. So it's a button lock and it has two positions. So you've got kind of this little half lock position so you can get that angle when you're cutting, which is really cool, or you can uh, lock it in the fully open position. Which this is a really cool feature. I didn't even know that until I opened this thing. Change the blade by rotating this little knob and pulling it out. Flip the blade around if you want. Um, pretty cool, $5.99, not bad, heavy, clunky, but it gets the job done. And will it flip? No. Actually, 
it was it won't open with the thumb stud at all. You've got to push the button. So it's a two-handed utility knife. That's interesting. Okay. Well, the Doyle one is the most like the Milwaukee Fastbacks. I think it's what they're called. Um, it's called a flip utility knife. So you can, it's a button lock that you can fidget with. It's not dangerous at all, I promise. Uh, this one, you just push this button down to release the blade, much like many of the EDC utility knives that you see. And it has this additional little uh, cut out here for cutting string. And in the closed position, you've got a seat belt cutter. So this one for $9.99 has quite a few functions. Uh, it's got this nice big wide wire clip, which is begging to be bent off this thing. But since I said it, I should at least show you the Milwaukee Fastbacks and show you how similar this really is to a Fastback. Um, so this is the smaller one, and then we've got the, the bigger one, which is most like the Doyle. They both have that seat belt cut out. Look how much thinner it is. This thing is really, really thin compared to these Milwaukee's. But look at the, the clip. This is the widest wire clip I've ever seen in my life. Uh, and this one is much more deep carry. So uh, Milwaukee, I think the two pack of these is like $20 or something like that. So it comes down to about the same price anyway. But the Milwaukee definitely feels, especially this one feels a lot better. It's not nearly as thick. Uh, the smaller one I like the most and they're, they're super fidgety. They're all super fidgety. Well, anyway, those are the utility knives from Harbor Freight and quick, easy one-handed operation. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Locks open, quick, easy one-handed operation. Oh, I guess you do have to flip this thing, but that does not feel safe. Okay, moving on. Since we talked about this uh, pin light last time and it seemed to be pretty freaking good for the price, this one, if you don't recall, is USB rechargeable. Uh, we're gonna talk about the other one. I picked them both up and I think this one was like $5.99, like six bucks, I think, for a double AAA flashlight, two times AAA. 65 lumen pin light, $5.99. Question is, does it come with batteries? I'm guessing it, it does. I was gonna guess it doesn't. This says, Ultra high efficiency SMD LED. I don't know what an SMD LED is. Spring steel clip, uh, rid, ridged collar to prevent rolling. Okay. Makes it really wide. Not something I'd want in my pocket. Super durable machined aluminum barrel, easy on off, two batteries included. And 65 lumens, which is something that they, they oh, whoa. It's got a really big spill in a hot spot. So it's one mode too, right? Yeah, one mode, on off. And this one you have multiple brightnesses. This is the uh, USB rechargeable one, which goes up to, I think 160-ish lumens. I don't remember what it is. 120, somewhere over 100 lumens, 65 lumens fixed in this one. Um, this one would be good for really up close work, but for the price difference, I think this one was 15-ish dollars. It went on sale. Uh, literally the day after I bought it. $17.99 for this one. So almost $20 for this rechargeable one, but you're not gonna have to buy batteries for it, which is really, really nice. This one, uh, I just don't think it's quite as useful as this one, and it doesn't fit in the pocket as well. Look how much extra width you have here. So for 11 more dollars, which is more than twice, almost three times the price actually, uh, I really do think this one is a better buy. This one is actually a really solid light that I would recommend buying. This one is one that you really just buy it because it's what's available to you, but there are better flashlights available in this price range even at six, seven dollars. You can get something really, really good online, maybe around 10, we'll say under $10. There are so many really good options that are gonna be more suited for like everyday carry than this. Um, this one's not bad. I mean, that that's a really big spill with a really, really strong hotspot in the middle, but uh, I think this is just a, a softer, better light overall. There you have it. I don't think it's a bad buy, especially at $6, something throw in the truck and just have. I think this is solid, but I would recommend the USB recharging over it, my personal opinion. The rest of this stuff isn't necessarily strictly EDC, but it's stuff that maybe you could throw in a little toolkit, like in your truck or like even a backpack. And that's why I grabbed these things. It's not stuff that I'd have in my pocket, 
but it is stuff that I would have to either work on my EDC stuff or have in a pouch in my backpack or something. So it's fringe, but it's still, you know, related. It's not totally off topic. So this was a three pack of uh, vice grips for really, really cheap. And I really didn't expect much of them. If they're anything like this one, they're actually really solid for the price. Three piece mini locking pliers, $6.99 for these three. And then this one right here, the one by itself, locking pliers, $2.99. So $3 for this one and $7 for all three of these. I don't really care about these. Um, these aren't something I'd have in a toolkit like that, but these three right here are the ones that I'm, I'm most interested in. So a tiny set of needle nose vice grips is I think one of the most underrated things for a toolkit. Needle nose vice grips are awesome because you, they're almost like hemostats in that you can grip really small things and lock it down and, and hold it and work on things. Needle nose vice grips, especially small ones that work really well, fantastic. Now, the thing I wanna mention about these is I actually bought a pair of uh, tiny vice grips, a little bigger than that, probably about this size. I don't know if it was in a multi-pack or what, but um, vice grips about this same size and they were Ir Irwin brand, which I normally really like Irwin stuff, but man, they sucked. I had them in one of my toolkits and, and if every time you open them up like this, I think they were needle nose actually. Every time you open them up, they fly apart and the spring comes out. They, it sucked. This right here, a $2.99 pair, I think it was like $20, $25 for a three pack. This $2.99 pair of vice grips is better than those Irwin vice grips. Um, these, they work as intended. They, they seem to function really well. They're probably not gonna hold up super long, but that's not why you buy tools from Harbor Freight. You buy stuff that you don't mind having to replace. Uh, but these tiny little vice grips right here would be really killer. Both of these would be really killer in a little toolkit in a backpack. In fact, I will probably end up putting these in, at least one of them, if not both, in my backpack toolkit. Um, and this could go in the truck to replace those uh, horrible Irwin ones. I normally like Irwin, but those tiny vice grips, if, if they end up flying apart when you open them like this, they're horrible, they're useless. You end up having to spend half your time using them, fixing them, which defeats the purpose. All right, and the last two things are drivers. Uh, this one is really cheap. I think this was two bucks, something like that. I think I got it the first time. Eight piece right angle screwdriver. 299 and it's ratcheting too. Yeah, so I don't I don't expect these bits to be any good. I would use Weha bits over these. The you won't harden bits really, but it's a ratchet as well. I'm not sure how good it works. I'm not even sure how to switch it. Oh. There we go. I think that's pretty pretty cool for 299. If you need to do some uh, some work on your knife pivot and you want some more torque and having just a regular screwdriver, this right here could be really cool and it's ratcheting. But this, I was more interested in. Um, this was much more expensive than the other. Not super expensive, I think it was probably around six bucks, 34 piece, 7.99. So this was 7.99. And again, the bits, I'm not too, I'm expecting too much from the bits, but the driver seemed like it could be cool. What I'm most interested in is this flexible four millimeter extension. This right here, imagine using this with your uh, Vero fulcrum. But basically, pull out your bit, put this in here, put the bit in the end of this, and you can tighten things around a corner. Tell me that's not cool. Can't get a lot of pressure on it, but that's pretty freaking cool. But yeah, you could use this with any four millimeter driver. Just having that extension is, is worth it, I think. Um, you also have this extension, same deal, but it's not flexible. What? What the? Is this supposed to do that? Oh, this is a chuck. So you can tighten this down. Ha ha. And you have a long extension on a, okay. I'm here for this. Well, there you have it. Uh, not, this was not meant to hate on Harbor Freight stuff because there is some really good value in some of this stuff. Especially like this guy, this Doyle utility knife, I think is really nice. These mini vice grips are really cool for a little toolkit. This little mini utility knife, very cool. 
This ratcheting driver, while the bits are probably trash, this thing, pretty cool. From the last video, this little precision driver, four millimeters, pretty dang cool. This Gordon knife from the last video, pretty freaking awesome for the price that it is. And this $17.99 flashlight really good like i will continue to use some of this stuff that's it for this video guys if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit the notification bell so you're notified when i upload new videos if you want to support what i'm doing here all this stuff will be linked below but it's not really affiliates uh other budget friendly edc gear will also be linked down below those will be affiliate links if you want to help support you can also go to patreon.com forward slash best mbdc or carrycommission.com where you can buy this shirt and other merchant gear directly from me also be sure to follow us around the web you can find us in most places at best mbdc and with that said and until next time carry on